I play Evelyn Caster, who's married to Will Caster. Um, she's a uh, she's a scientist. She's working in the 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 same field that her husband and uh, and their best friend Max Waters, played by Paul Bettany. Um, and you know, she's she's very uh, she's driven by a desire to make the world a better place sort of, to put it basely. <laughs> and, you know, she wants to use science to make a better future and use the advancement of technology to heal big problems like disease and and global warming and all the rest of the, the issues that we face. Um, and I think they all do, And but it's their sort of how they envision it happening in the long term is is fast-tracked by the circumstances of the plot. The constant and very prevalent struggle between technology and humanity and what makes us human and how much we can merge with technology and still remain human and how much that might cause us problems. Um, in terms of how we define ourselves and what identity is and all these things which I think are very, very pertinent issues in our increasingly technological times. What's brilliant about this story and what's the best kind of art that deals with any of these very relevant issues is to raise questions and not answer them but start debates. And I think that's what this story does. It's it's ambiguous and it's ambivalent about technology. It's also ambivalent about not advancing with technology. Um, it's, not say, it's not saying one way or other what the answer is. It's just saying this is something we all need to be talking about because it's going to throw up, whatever way you look at it, it's going to throw up huge ethical dilemmas and make us reassess how we progress as a, a, a race, whatever you want to call it, you know, as mankind. Well, it gets very complicated for Evelyn because I, I think she acts initially impulsively, like anyone who's going through extreme and shocking grief that comes out of nowhere, bereavement rather, um, is that you don't you don't want to let go and denial. I mean, if you, I mean, that's how I had to approach it. Is that forget all the science stuff. This is someone who's and you know highly emotional and will do anything to stop what's happening happening so she tries to save her husband's life I'm not the kind of actor that's good at doing scenes on the telephone when someone's not there you know <laughs> so if I'm gonna have to spend half of this film you know, acting with the script supervisor doing the lines while I look at a green screen, I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm just not that kind of actor. And um, I was scared and I thought, I, that's, that's not how I want to do it. And I had a conversation with Wally and, and he convinced me when he said, you'll always be acting with Johnny. I was like, well, how, how is that possible? What do you mean? And he said, well, we'll, we'll have Johnny in, a sep in, in the studio in a separate room We'll be videoing him live and it will go straight to the monitor and we'll shoot the monitor and we'll do conventional coverage. So we'll do you and then we'll shoot the TV screen. And I thought, well, no one's ever done that before. This is crazy. There's no CGI involved. There's no sort of special effects, anything. I'm actually talking to Johnny and he's in the TV screen. I think that's what makes this film, actually, is the fact that we did those scenes live and there's no, there's nothing you know, fake or sort of put together through movie magic about it, we're actually acting together and responding to each other. And so every take was different and, and had that spark and energy of what makes, you know, like I was talking about earlier, the thing that happens between actors work or not work. He's unique in the sense that I have never worked with the first time director that has as much experience as he has and I probably never will <laughs> and that's and that's a really unusual and and, and rich <laughs> quality I mean so he has all this sort of um, enthusiasm and optimism I guess of a first-time filmmaker and uh, and n n 
and the experience of someone who's been doing it for years. And he knows everything about it. He knows, he knows exactly how to set up a shot, obviously, and he knows how to film something. And also he's, he's incredibly um, gifted with, with narrative. He knows how to tell a story, and that comes from years of, of filmmaking and an interest in, in films and narratives and emotions. You know, he's, a kind of, he's interested in the emotions of people and what makes them tick. So it's kind of, it's kind of brilliant. It's kind of the, the best you can hope for, really. Will Cast is played by this little-known actor called Johnny Depp. Not many people have heard of him. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's Johnny Depp. Um, what can I say about Johnny Depp? He's he's uh, he's kind of amazing. You you sort of it's fascinating to work with someone who has who sort of you know is an icon and has so much sort of so many great um, very specific characterizations that we associate with him and. Um, but working on this with him, it's interesting because you also see what makes him a, a really great actor as well as a great movie star. Um, because he's very, he's he's incredibly smart and he's incredibly intuitive and attentive to the script, and he wants he wants the best, and he he's very collaborative with his other actors, and he's he's also incredibly funny, so he's a joy to work with. Max is played by Paul Bettany, and uh, uh, he's uh, another Brit, which is nice, which means that we talk a lot about the old country and, you know, tea and Radio 4. No, we don't. <laughs> um, he's, he's great. He's, I've always admired him, actually. I think he's a, a really uh, brilliant actor, and you can tell that he's very smart, I think, on screen. And I was... Uh, Pleasantly surprised that that's true in life as well. Joseph Tag is played by Morgan Freeman, who's um, a bit of a hero of mine and probably a bit of a hero of everyone's. I think he, he's probably, there's something very, he has an incredible uh, presence, which comes from, you know, you can see on screen and it's like that in life. He just has that sort of uh, something about him which is very, compelling and he's and he's a he's he's fantastic to work with he's so incredibly present with you in a scene and it's it's very exciting and you do have to pinch yourself occasionally and go oh yeah it's morgan freeman <laughs>